So good evening, friends. Meeting again with the organization session. We are discussing regarding the pharmacy part in the organ of medicine, the posology. And there are many queries in people's mind regarding the posology because we are dealing with the dynamic human being. And when things are dynamic, the, there are always queries develops in our mind. Anyone have tried his level best to explain and explain all the questions in the student's mind and he tried his level best to explain it in the organ of medicine. So, every aspect he tried to explain over there, we have learned few of them. We have started with the aphorism number 245, a bridge between the earlier aphorism and next, and he starts right from 246. 246, 247, 248, three aphorisms he has completely changed from the fifth edition of organ of medicine. Earlier, he has used and said that giving a single simple medicine, a single dose to the patient is the treatment even in chronic as well as in acute. But as he found it difficult to get early results in such types of cases, specifically when dealing with the chronic, he has worked out, he has experimented and ultimately came with new method that is what is named by the name of blessing technique. And this is what we were learning since last two lectures. And he has explained that every time when you are dealing with the chronic case, every next dose which you are going to give should be altered in slightly in character by the energy as well as its dilution. So if you start with 30, you go on with 31, 32, 33 gradually and so that vital force will not going to produce a homeopathic aggravation directly because if you change, if you go on repeating the same dose after doing its better aspect of it, later on it starts proving its own aspects and that's why many a times there will be an aggravation which develops. And for that purpose, I am going to have suggested this plusing technique that you must go on increasing those gradually every time so that the person will react in a proper manner and the cure will be hastened. The process of cure will be hastened. Anemonian aspect he, was, he, he is explaining over there. We'll learn first anemonia and we'll find it out what easy methods we can do. The 248 aphorism is completely related with how to go ahead with that blessing technique. And in the footnote, he has mentioned the method with which we have to go. First, we'll understand that what animal wants to say. And thereafter, what is the easy and what is the practical that we can learn. So we'll start with aphorism 248. For this purpose, we potentized a new medicinal solution. Uh, he has given footnote to that. We'll learn that later on after finishing this aphorism. With perhaps 8, 10, 12 succussions from which we give the patient one or increasingly several teaspoonful doses in long-lasting diseases daily or even second day. In acute diseases every 2 or 6 hours and in very urgent cases every hour and often. Thus, in chronic diseases, every correctly chosen homeopathic medicine, even those whose action is of long duration, may be repeated daily for months with ever increasing success. And this was his complete change of view. Earlier, he had mentioned that chronic diseases, when you are chosen a remedy which is defecting, you should not go on repeating. You should give it a single dose. But he had changed his view. After experimentation, he has explained that even for months you go on increasing, but how to increase the method which I have mentioned over there. In acute, depending upon the case and depending on, upon the severity, yes, we can repeat. But in chronic, when we are dealing with, we, how one should go ahead, that's what he is explaining. So what he says over there, even those whose action is of long duration may be repeated daily for months with ever increasing success. If the solution is used up in 7 or 15, 7 to 15 days, it is necessary to add to the next solution of the same medicine if still indicated one 
or though rarely several pellets of the higher potency with which we continue so long as the patient experiences continued improvement without encountering one or another complaint that he had before his life before in his life so for example we'll take example of a chronic peptic ulcer and you are treating the patient with the help of some chronic remedy for example you have selected the calibrichromicum or some something else like that and if you would have started calibrichromicum 200 in water dose and you have started giving calibrichromicum to 200 then you have increased the potency ask the patient to follow the blessing technique and you have started going ahead with 200 m1 202 203 gradually if you go ahead after seven days, when you repeat it and patient is still improving, there is no further aggravation. A level comes after seven days or 15 days that that solution, which doesn't carry now the strength because you have not, if you would have not added the preservative. Hanuman says then further potency, highly potentized same medicine, if the state remains same, you add it in water, again prepare the water dose and you go and continue. So after 200, you have started with 200 and you have reached to 300 or 500 and still the patient is improving. Then think about the higher potency. Go for a higher. Again, dissolve it in water and go with the same plusing technique. In bracket, he has written, if the state remains to be the same, it is not changed. If it, is remain, if it remains the same, it will go and continue. For if this happens, if the balance of the disease appears in a group of altered symptoms, then another, one more homeopathic related medicine must be chosen in place of the last and administered in the same repeated doses. Mind, however, of modifying so the solution of every dose with thorough vigorous suggestions, thus changing its degree of potency and increasing it somewhat. If you go on repeating first remedy and you observe that there are some new symptoms now started appearing. Now the state has changed. Now it is no more Kali Beach. Now it is showing some features which are newly added over there and which are showing the features not of the Kali Bicromicum but which the newly added symptoms which are of a different remedy. Then you choose that new similimum for the case go with the new similimum in the similar manner with the plusing technique in the water doses and go on increasing the potency gradually so both the aspect he has mentioned if there is a uh, same state persist you have to continue with same potency same medicine with different potency but if the state changes you have to choose new remedy on the basis of symptom similarity so both aspects, he has made it clear that you have started with Kali Vipromicum. If the state still remains Kali Vipromicum, that means he is getting aggravation after uh, he feels better after eating. He gets aggravated two, three hours after eating. Uh, he gets severe burning. He gets the vomiting, which is stringy. Typical Kali Vipromicum symptomatology. Then you, if the state remains to be the same, you continue with the same remedy. But if the modality changes, if the some <clears throat> futures changes, then you have to choose new similar. So both aspects he has made clear over there. <clears throat> On the other hand, should there appear during almost daily repetition of the well-indicated homeopathic remedy towards the end of treatment of a chronic disease, so-called aphorism number 161, homeopathic aggravation, by which the balance of morbid symptoms seems to again increase somewhat. <clears throat> the medicinal disease, similar to original, now alone persistently manifests itself. So if you go with this plusing technique gradually, you go on increasing same remedy thereafter, and at a certain level in chronic disease, then you start getting aggravation of the original symptoms. It is the time that you must understand that homeopathic aggravation have been developed. 
in acute cases, homeopathic aggravation happens instantaneously within first few hours after giving the remedy. But in chronic cases, when you go on repeating the medicine, with either with plusing technique or, or if you are giving the LM potency to the patient in such a manner, then cro in chronic diseases, homeopathic aggravation has to happen when the cure takes place. So it is a high time when homeopathic aggravation starts after repeating this with the blessing technique. After a certain period, one month, you start getting the same features increased in its intensity. It indicates the homeopathic aggravation has been developed. Then it is the time to reduce the frequency of overdoses. Then it is the time to stop giving the medicine. Go on observing that the symptom starts disappearing. If it starts disappearing, it itself means that now remedy has reached its level and there is no need to repeat the medicine or repeat it gradually. And this is what he is explaining. The doses in that case must then be reduced still further and repeated in longer intervals and possibly stopped several days in order to see if the convulsions need no further medicinal aid. <laughs> so, just go on observing. Now, once homeopathic aggravation happens after a few days, you stop giving the medicine. Just wait. So, if you are treated, you are treating with Kali Bicromicum and you have started with 200 and you have reached that 700 and you start get, you have started getting the homeopathic aggravation over there, stop over there and just see, go on, observe whether the convulsions happens, the recovery happens. You have to go and watch that patient. The apparent symptoms, which he labeled by the name of shin symptom, caused by excess of homeopathic medicine, will soon disappear and leave undisturbed health in its wake. So what he is saying? The symptoms, original symptoms of the disease, which gets aggravated and which are visible, that's why he labeled it by the name of apparent symptoms. The symptoms which appears after repeating by the blessing technique and at the end when they appears, to which he labeled either by two names, apparent symptoms or he has labeled it by the name of shin symptom. So if you stop giving the medicine, those will disappear by its own. If only a small while, say a dram of dilute alcohol is used in the treatment in which it's contained and dissolved through a succussion, one global of a medicine, which, which is to be used or by olfaction every two, three or four days, this also must be thoroughly succussed eight to ten times before each olfaction. So he is giving at the same time another way of method or application of the medicine. Either you give it by orally, if it is not possible, another method is by giving the olfaction. But even though if you are giving olfaction, you follow the same technique. This is what anyone wants to say. That if you want to, if you expect early result, so you have to follow this plusing technique. And that plusing technique will be useful specifically in chronic diseases. And this new method, which he called as water potency, which he has, he has added in the sixth edition of organ of medicine. Question arises, this is very difficult. It is not so practical. Because in the footnote, he mentions how to do it. Just see what he says in the footnote. Footnote number 134. See how he, he mentions how to go ahead with this method. The actual technique method which he has mentioned. Made in 40, 30, 20, 15 or 18 tablespoons of water with the addition of some alcohol or piece of charcoal in order to preserve it. So charcoal, if you dip it in water, it preserves that work as a vehicle and it preserves the potency property. Or if you add the alcohol over there, it preserves the potency. So properties are pre preserved by using the vehicles. And these are two vehicles which he mentions over there. If the charcoal is used, it is suspended by means of a thread in a vial and is taken out when the vial is succussed. So what he is saying? That if you are putting, if you are using charcoal as a preservative over there, just with the thread, you dip it in over there 
keep it for some time and remove it and then use the succussions. So that solution which is used, uh, which is kept with the charcoal worked as a preservative and you put your globules inside it. So what he says there, sir, the solution of medicinal globule and it is rarely necessary to use more than one globule. What he said, give, use the only one globule he said, rarely indicated to you more than one globule of a thoroughly potentized medicine in large quantity of water can be obviated by making a solution in only seven to eight tablespoonfuls of water. And up, after thorough succussion of the vial, take from it one tablespoon and put it in a glass of water containing seven to eight spoonfuls. And this Tear thoroughly and then give a dose to the patient. So, how to give that you prepare that inside the um, uh, water that you suspend the charcoal give, give, as a preservative and then uh, that thoroughly, <coughs> sorry, thoroughly potentized globule you put over there, give that 8 to 10 succussions. It should that globule should be thoroughly mixed with the sugar of milk and crushed over there, and then you put that inside that water, and then out of that you you take another glass of water where you put seven eight teaspoonfuls of water, and this succussed medicine take a one teaspoonful of it, put it over there in that another glass of water thoroughly mixed it and give one teaspoonful to the patient. This is how you have to prepare the water potency. And then what he says? This stir thoroughly and then give a dose to the patient. If he is unusually excited and sensitive, a teaspoonful of this solution may be put in second glass of water. Thoroughly stirred and teaspoonful doses or more be given. Now, if you have given one teaspoonful to the patient, then from the remaining seven, eight teaspoonful, take a one teaspoonful, take another glass, again take seven, eight teaspoonful of water, put one, one teaspoonful in that water in order to give, prepare the next dose. So this sequence, the way we prepare it in, in the laboratory, in the similar manner, the patient can prepare it at his home in the similar manner. And this is the way with which he can go ahead. So you can start with 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 in such manner. What do you feel? How many patients will going to do this and follow this method? It is, yes, it is very perfect. It's per, It's well and good. Everything is okay. But many of the patients who comes to you never able to follow this. What he says further, there are patients of so great sensitiveness that a third or fourth glass similarly prepared may be necessary. Each such prepared glass must be made fresh daily. The globule of high potency is best crushed in a few grains of sugar of milk, which the patient can put in the vial and be dissolved in in the requisite quantity of water. So, when you are putting that globe, it should not be put as it is. It should be thoroughly crushed with the sugar of milk. And that should be put in that vial of the water. So, this is what is called as a plusing technique. But, I myself feel, when I have suggested it for few patients in early my practice. The patient starts refusing. They ask doctor, they don't tell us all those things. Just view the globules. That is better to take. This method we don't like. These are the many, many comments which with which patient has reacted. And this happens. Because convenience is also important from your point of view. So, 
convenience, unless and until convenience happens, patient will not going to go. So what to do? So I have experimented that instead of giving it in such a manner, instead of giving that medicine in such a manner, what I have started, I used to prepare it in a big bottle, around 450 ml or 100 ml. And I asked the patient, just do one thing, that whenever you are consuming every next dose, give 10 succussions to the bottle and then you take. This method was followed by me. And I'm following since long time. And it worked. It worked in such a manner that there is no direct aggravation which has happened. Generally, I used to follow it not for centesimal scale, but I used to follow it for the 50 millisimal scale. When I ask the patient every time to give the 10 succussions and take one teaspoonful. If I repeat it, Four times a day, I ask the same method to follow. But I never ask that add water and then you take and then you consume. Because it is time consuming at the same time, it is very, very inconvenient for the patient. So I used to tell that every time you must take one teaspoonful just after taking, giving the 10 suggestion. And it is working. So you must work it. You must find it out the convenient method, utilize your own intellect, utilize your own thought, experiment over it. If you find it, uh, yes, it is useful, tell the others. This is what I used to tell. And this method is working very clearly. <clears throat> so this is my thought. Organon says uh, Hanemanian aspect. Yes, we are learning Hanemanian aspect, but we have to go ahead. We Hanemann was not convinced with the earlier single dose. So he has changed his thought in last five years. If he would have survived for next 10 years, he would have changed this method also. Because he was experimenting and he was experimenting for better mankind. He was thinking always, the, his mind was conscientious enough to find it out that what is fault with him and his method. And this is, this is the way we have to go ahead. So we have to take into consideration all those aspects so that we can give a better treatment to the patient. And this, these are my thoughts which I have added at the end. Hanemanian method already he has mentioned in that footnote of a, regarding the plusing technique that already we have displayed. You follow, you experiment with Hanemanian method also. You If you feel convenient, continue with it that if you feel it is inconvenient, just try my level, try my method. If it is working, continue with it. Or you find it out your own method of giving the medicine. But patient always ask the small globules because they like the taste of it. So as far as possible, try to utilize the globules. If it has been needed a water potency, Definitely, you should follow water potency and try your level best to make different method. So that's all for today's session. So these three aphorisms which we have learned are completely new in the sixth edition of Origin of Medicine regarding his thought of repeating the doses specifically in chronic diseases, which he was not uh, uh, mentioned in the fifth edition of Origin of Medicine. So that's all for today and we'll continue with the it tomorrow. If there are queries we can have, otherwise we'll continue. Any question? So we'll conclude the session and tomorrow we'll meet at the same time and we'll continue with further efforts. Thanks a lot.